Randy Rosarina had to live small before he could live large. He may be the Michael Jackson of the MLB with millions of dollars right now, but to understand his impressive lifestyle, you gotta understand where he's coming from. Born in Cuba in the year 1995, Randy Rosarina's incredible journey toward fame kicked off when he left Cuba in a small boat at 3 a.m. The boat was as tiny as a kayak, believe it or not, and he was bound for Mexico so he could follow his dreams. Despite being a huge soccer fan, just like many folks in Latin America, his native Cuba's number one sport was baseball. So he swapped his football boots for baseball cleats and hasn't looked back ever since. He was a promising teenager with a bat and he had a father, Jesus Rosarina, who supported him immensely. But something tragic would change his life forever. When Randy was 15 years old in 2014, his father died when he went to watch one of his games. Crazy, right? But Randy confirmed this during an interview with Fox Sports, quote, Yeah, I say it was when my dad died, because my dad went to see me at a ball game in a playoff. The game was at 7 o'clock at night. My dad left at about 5 p.m. for the field. When my dad got to the field, I was at the hotel. My dad died there in the stands. After his father's death, he continued to play baseball and was a standout champ in the Cuban National Series for Bagueros de Piñar. But after registering 15 stolen bases, 2 RBIs, and 3 home runs, he decided it was time to move on. His family was in penury, and being the eldest child without a father, he knew he had to provide. He set his eyes on the MLB, but knowing how difficult it would be to even get to America, he joined 8 other people in a boat bound for Mexico. He was 19 years old when he landed on Mexico's island Mujeres after a dangerous eight-hour trip. Thankfully, he was warmly embraced by Mexico and he never forgot. As he put it, I left Cuba or I escaped Cuba in 2015 and I arrived in Mexico. I had my family. I have a Mexican daughter that I love. Mexico received me as a son. He played in the Mexican league for a while, but after he became a free agent in 2016, he signed a contract with the St. Louis Cardinals worth $1.2 million. And his life changed forever. As a millionaire athlete, he's living large and enjoying the celebrity lifestyle. He's known for his love for fancy cars and the finer things in life. And who can blame him? He's worked hard to get where he is and he deserves to enjoy the fruits of his labor. There isn't much information available regarding the residence of the Cuban-born Mexican when you consider the $4.1 million contract he signed in 2023 as if he's swimming in a pool of money. When you're generating that much money, you can swear on a stack of Bibles that your house will be stunning. But that's not all. If you look at his social media, you'll see photographs and videos of his family having a good time at home. If the interiors are any indication, the exterior will most likely be spectacular. Now let's switch gears and talk about a Rosarina's ride collection. This dude knows how to roll in style and his wheels are the stuff of dreams. Imagine this, a garage filled with some of the most drool-worthy rides you can imagine. It's like a car lover's paradise. First up, we have his white Chevrolet Camaro worth almost $30,000. Yeah, you heard that right. It's a beast of a machine that roars like a thunderstorm. This bad boy is all about speed, luxury, and turning heads wherever it goes. But wait, <laughs> there's more. Get ready for the red 2019 Mercedes-Benz worth $30,000. This thing is a true track demon. It's built for speed, precision, and that unmistakable Benz charm. With its sleek lines and roaring engine, it's like a symphony on wheels. We can already picture Randy pushing the pedal to the metal, leaving behind a trail of burnt rubber and awestruck onlookers. But if his cars don't pull attention, his jewelry certainly would. You see, our baseball superstar knows how to keep it classy. He's got a jewelry collection that would make even Mr. T's head spin. But here's the thing, it's all locked up tight behind closed doors. Just like his mansion, this bling extravaganza is shrouded in secrecy, leaving us all on the edge of our seats, dying to know what sparkly wonders lie within. Rumor has it that a Rosarina's favorite accessory is a chain that can rival the strongest links in the world. Picture this, our hero steps onto the field, game against Columbia, tension, electrifying the air, and boom, he scores, tying the game in the most jaw-dropping fashion. And what does he have draped around his neck, shining like a star in the night? 
You guessed it, that very chain, dazzling everyone with its undeniable presence. It's like the chain holds some secret power, transforming him into a legend on the spot. But wait, there's more. Randy's bling game doesn't stop at necklaces. Nope, he's got two cross earrings that make a loud fashion statement. It's a symbol of both style and faith and a combination that adds an extra punch to Randy's already awe-inspiring persona. And he won't have to worry about running out of money or having to sell his jewelry when things go financially awry. You know why? Well, because in addition to all the millions he's made from salaries, his sponsorship deals are enough to keep him flashy. Now, of course, a prominent brand like Nike would jump at the chance to sign a rising star athlete like Randy Rosarina. However, the deal's specifics are still unknown at this time, but we know it's something that's got to do with expensive shoes and big financial numbers in Randy's bank account. Additionally, his love for exotic cars landed him a Ford endorsement deal as seen on his Instagram. He also has endorsement deals with Millions.com, Pro Camps, and Palm Beach Autographs. Don't ask us what these guys do, just appreciate all the money our beloved Randy makes from them and how he's not selfish with his finances. Because... While a Rosarina enjoys the finer things in life, he also has a giving spirit. He's been involved in some charitable endeavors, including setting up a place in the city of Merida, Mexico, where people can practice baseball and enjoy the game. But we seem to be avoiding the most important part of Randy's life. But don't worry, it's intentional. We've been saving the best for last, his family. Given that he had to leave his mother and two brothers in Cuba, he went across the perilous Gulf of Mexico in pursuit of greener pastures, not only for himself, but also for the sake of his family. In his own words, I saw waves five to six meters high in the Gulf of Mexico. It was very bad, but I had to risk it to survive and help my family. His brothers are doing well for themselves now. Ronnie is the youngest. He's a baseball player like his eldest brother, but he's not as successful as him and is currently a free agent. Randy's other brother, Ryko, is a soccer player for the Tampa Bay Rowdies in the USL Championship. He's a goalkeeper and represents the Cuban national team as well. Then there's Randy's mother, Sandra Gonzalez Izquierdo, who has long ago joined the family in America. She sometimes plays catch with her son, as seen here. Additionally, Randy has started a family of his own. He's married to Colombian wife, Caniela Pinedo, with whom he shares a beautiful daughter, Leah, that seems to have packed all the charms in the world for herself. In one picture, one of his daughters is seen smiling from ear to ear, her eyes gleaming with innocence as she walks with her mother inside the Tampa Bay Rays Stadium. But this is not the only daughter Randy has. He also has another girl named Luna. But this one was with an ex-partner with whose name is not known. However, there was an issue in 2020 that involved the ex-lovers, wherein Randy was arrested in Mexico. His detainment was because he tried to run away with his daughter and had allegedly assaulted the man with whom his ex was dating. He was later released without any charges filed against him. He seems to have also won custody over Luna because he's been appearing on all of Randy's family posts lately. With everything all right with his family, Randy has times for his hobbies. When he isn't tossing baseballs and hitting home runs like badass, he can be fine diving headfirst into one of his favorite hobbies. And let us tell you, this dude is crazy about soccer. After all, it was his first love before he gave in to baseball. Randy played soccer with his brothers in the streets of Colombia. But now, he's all about cheering for the mighty Real Madrid, the soccer dream team straight out of Spain. When he's not busy kicking it with his soccer buddies, you might catch him in a different kind of race. Yep, you heard it right. This guy's got a need for speed. He's out there channeling his inner Usain Bolt and racing horses like a wild cowboy in the Wild West. When he's not feeling like Usain Bolt, he tears it up on the dance floor, taking us back to the good old days of the pop star Michael Jackson. If you enjoyed this video about Randy Rosarina living a large lifestyle, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there.